Christina from Physique 57 and I'm so excited because I've created a 30 minute workout for you from head to toe to not only tone up those arms, but also sprinkle in a little bit of ab work in there as well. On my right, Jess, she's going to be doing the modifications. She's using two pounds, so you can follow her, or if you want to spice it up a little bit. Shannon, on my left, she's going to be using four pounds. So pick your poison. We're going to get your body going in three sections. So we start standing. We come back down to the floor, but don't get too restless. We're going to come back up to your feet and finish out your workout. So let's get started. Just simple leg lifts. Palms are facing the floor. We're alternating right and left. Just take a nice big deep breath. So this whole half hour is literally all about you, your health, your fitness, taking time out of your regular life to just focus on your body, maybe a goal, fitness goal that you have. Maybe it's just a, hmm, I can start doing my workout in the morning while the coffee's brewing. Could be something just as simple as that. Turn the TV on when you have a second, you're going to get your workout in wherever you are. So we're just working the upper body, rotating the rib cage, start pulling the abs in nice and tight. You have four, three, Two, all right. Those weights are like getting lonely. Let's grab your weights. We're gonna take your feet into what we call wide seconds. So your heels are underneath your shoulders. Hands right to your waistline. Bring your feet down to knee level. You're gonna take, take a nice slow pulse. Down an inch, up an inch. So this is the start of your body getting nice and warm. We're working legs here, but don't forget about posture. Head, shoulders, hips. Everything is stacked in what we call flat back, right? Or a neutral spine. So you should have a nice little curve in your low back. And you're gonna start feeling all the muscularity in your legs, your quads, your abs as well. They're still working because you're standing straight up and down. Let's take that pulse a little faster. Here we go. This is when your heart rate, that cardio, you're getting that little bit of work that's gonna really rev up your metabolism and get your legs, your body from head to toe, long and lean. How we doing, Shannon? How we doing, Jess? We all right? Because I know that pulse might look really easy, but once you get into it, the smaller you make the pulse, the better. You're gonna feel that burn in four, three, Two, hold your seat still. Palms are gonna face up. Bring your weight forward. Slow bicep curl. Tap your shoulders. And what we're gonna do, just because we have light weights, the elbows a little bit higher. Right. So because we're taking your elbows up, you don't want them to come up too high. So if you follow Jess here, she's got her elbows just a little bit below the shoulder level. But the focus, remember, the emphasis is in the bicep, the arms. But even though we've got that bicep emphasis, right? We're getting that curl, that squeeze in that bicep. We're gonna have a little bit more by taking a little bit of a pulse with your thighs down. Down, yeah, down. Now where we're gonna feel this is not only in your quads, right? And if Shannon drops her seat down a hair lower, she's gonna feel that burn all in her quads, right? Quads means four muscles, four thigh muscles that are really holding up all of that nice, beautiful, long lean upper body. So that's why it's just super important to make sure that our posture is just as strong. Curl, lower down. Can you maybe, maybe drop your seat down a little bit lower? <laughs> Lift, down, go, curl. How are we doing? You're almost there. You've only got 20 seconds left. Are your arms burning? Are you feeling your thighs yet? Can you maybe make that pulse a tiny bit smaller? So you're really getting into your quads. Where are you feeling it, Jess? Thighs. Feeling a thighs, arm, see? That's where that upper body focus comes in, right? You got that curl. You have four, three, woo! Feel that burn, two. Last one, hold your seat still. Your elbows are gonna come up to shoulder level. Notice how my, our elbows are a little bit out further than right in front of us on the diagonal. You're gonna start a tiny little pulse, pulse. So just take a deep breath. Your seat is still. But if you're following Shannon, we're gonna add a tiny little wrap with the thighs. This is gonna get into that outer part of the quad, right? The one that kind of connects right here to your IT band. Building strength, muscularity, definition, tone, physiqueified body. You have four, three, two, last one. Squeeze your elbows in nice and tight. You're gonna take your weights overhead. Little pulses up and down with the weights. So now we're moving on into triceps. Jess is gonna take a reset for just a second. She's listening to her body. When she's ready, she's gonna come back and meet us back in your wide seconds. Shannon, she's hitting a little pulse too. She's really rubbing it up, remember. A little spice, not only for her thighs, for her C, for her triceps, the backs of her arms. Four, three, two, now hold. You're gonna take your arms forward. Incline your chest, toes forward, palms are up. So we're staying with that same thing. We're gonna row and stretch. So elbows stay nice and tight to your waistline. You want to pull the weight or your weights here. So if you look at my girls in the back, they're taking the weight right by your rib cage. So 
So we're getting each and every single ounce of your back, the muscularity in your posture. Super important, and just keep those knees forward. Abdominal control, don't let them sink to the floor. Now hold the elbows back. We're gonna keep your palms down, but stretch your arms straight and bend. So we have a tricep kickback. A little bit unique in this version that the palm is down. You're gonna get a little bit more to the inner part of the tricep. Right tricep, three muscles. Three of the most neglected muscles in our body. So I want you, if you want a little more heat, can you incline to be a little deeper? Ooh. Oh yeah, you feel that burn, Shannon, right in the back of her arms. And notice the nice relax of her body. Abs are still pulling in tight. These girls are working hard. We're gonna take it faster. Stretch, bend, stretch, bend. All right, I like a little dance party once in a while. We're gonna bring back the 80s with a little <laughs> side step. Step right, step left, step right, step left. Well, what's the point of adding a little cardio? All those little moments where the interval steps it up a notch, not only does it get your heart rate elevated, but it also boosts your metabolism. So any time you can take a challenge, I want you to fight. Maybe if it's not this time you do the workout with us, maybe it's next time. Woo. You have four, three, two, last one. Let's bring your weights down to the floor. Come on down. So this is section two, coming down to the floor. We're gonna hit a push up position. So squeeze those knees, feet, thighs together nice and tight. Here we go. Bend, stretch. So push up position, very fundamental in terms of getting it into your workout, right? Jess is taking it on her thighs. So her weight is just weight right on top of her thighs. But she's still getting nice and low. If she feels she can, she's gonna tuck her toes and stretch her legs. You have two more push-ups. Come on, Shannon, that full form. Hold it at the top, hold it at the top. Right leg lifts up. So she's gonna reach energy through her toes to a tiny pulse. Jess, as the modifier, she's gonna put her knee down just to make sure that her hips, her shoulders, everything stays parallel stabilize to the floor. So the lift everyone is getting into your abs, your hip stability, lengthening in the back of the leg. Jeff Shannon, add a little pulse. Four, three, two, let's switch feet. So we got the left side on the lefty. Gotta give a little lefty love. So we start pulsing the left leg. Shannon, she's still got those legs up. Legs are nice and straight. Hips are gonna come on a little lower, just so we get into those abs a little more. Can we add maybe that, come on Shannon. Let's get those upper bodies going. So it's just as important to make sure that every aspect of your body is strong. Chest, abs, don't leave anything out because the more well-rounded you are, the more in shape, the better you're gonna feel. You have four, three, two, last one. Come on down to a reset for just a second, but then come out, shoot out to a forearm plank. Forearm plank, we're not done. There's no room for just resting for time because you've only got 30 minutes to hit every aspect of your body. So Jess is in a full form plank. She is in a full form plank. But what I'm gonna do, if I put my hand here, <laughs> and I push down, what's happening? Nothing, nothing should happen. Her abs are pulling in so tight. But I'm actually gonna have her step it up just a notch. All right, Shannon, show us what you got. Push press. Oh yeah, baby. So this is all, Ooh. every muscle in your upper body. Biceps, chest, shoulders abdominal control, glutes are squeezing tight. She, Jess is just staying here. If she needs to, she can reset, but I want you to try this push press because it's going to build nice, strong, long, lean muscles in your upper body. How we do it, Shannon? You're almost there. Come on, come on, come on. You got this, two more. Last one, last one. Keep fighting. You got this, you're killing it. Stay strong, now hold your plank, hold your plank. One of the hardest things to do for your abs is just to hold a plank. Find that stillness. Take a deep breath, four, three, all right, so we got our upper body a little bit, right? We're gonna swing your feet around. Let's get your glutes. So pick your feet about hips width apart. Your fists, your palms will be behind you. If you have a heavy set enough weight, you can also put your hands on the weight. We're gonna take a single glute wedge with both of your legs. Push into your heels. You're gonna bring your seat up and down. So if you notice, Jess, she's taking it on her on her fists. Just a little wrist sensitivity. Shannon, she's opted to use the weights. If you want to, that is perfectly fine. But the goal is to get into that darn glute bridge as fast as you can. So the idea is to get your hips up as high as possible. Just as a modifier, she's just coming down, maybe, or coming up not quite as high. So the, the, it's more of like, eh, coming just up to that rib cage level. You have two more. Lift, lower down, hold your seat up high. Just your arms are gonna bend. Stretch, so keep your seat still, just bending and stretching arms. Triceps, right? Let's take it a little faster. Bend, stretch, bend, stretch, bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Now let's add your glutes. So your seat goes down and stretch, down, stretch, down, stretch. 
nice and fast, right? Because you're getting cardio, you're building up that muscular endurance, not only in your triceps, but in your glutes, the back of your body. Super important to make sure we're well-rounded from head to toe. Three more, three, two, last one. Drop your seat down, you're gonna lie all the way down, bring your weights in front of you, because we're gonna use them as anchors. Lying flat on your back, reach your right toes up to the ceiling, glute bridge. Just lift your seat up an inch and down an inch. So this is very important. So Jess has got her toes straight up to the ceiling. This is the modified version. But if you want a little bit more heat, then you're going to your hamstring. We're going to keep these two guys together, nice and tight. And let's take it faster. Come on, a little faster. Up, down, up, down. And now Shannon has the advanced version. Let's pop that heel a little higher. Or if you just want a little bit more heat into your seat, is what I like to say. Ooh, yeah. Are you feeling that heat in your oh seat, God. Shannon? All Ooh. right, good. Breathe. You've got 15 seconds. Go a little faster. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. So you want to really focus everybody. Squeeze knees, feet, thighs together. Underneath your glute is working. You should be firing up. You have four more. Four, two, last one. Switch feet. All right, left foot. So we got our left foot going up. Shannon's knees are squeezing tight together. Jess's toes are up to the ceiling. Here we go. Slow up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Glute bridges are so good for your glutes for your hamstrings to really even out, like smooth out the back of the muscle, build that nice round lean glute muscle. You are going to love it if you give your seat a chance. Let's take it faster, everybody. Up, down, up, down. Can you Shannon? Can you maybe pop your right heel high? Remember what I said, long, lean, lean physique body. That is exactly what you are creating. <sighs> take a deep breath. Really stretch those toes to the ceiling or reach the energy right up to the leg. You have four more. Four, three, two, last one. Bring your seat down. Hands are going to come behind our head. So even though we're still focused on the glutes, we're going to add in some bounce here too. So push into your heels. So you're going to lift your seat up and then take a slow curl of your shoulders or your chest to rib cage. Seat comes up, rib cage curl. So just nice and easy. Jess is doing the same exact thing. Her range of motion might be a tiny bit smaller. Shannon, she's coming all the way up. See that big, beautiful space right under her shoulders? That's ab strength. That's control. Focus on the fact that I want your shoulders to come down slow and your seat. Do not let anything come down fast. Just nice and slow, nice and easy. We've got a couple more, 10 seconds. How are we doing? We feel our abs? Oh, yeah. Jess, how are you doing? You still feeling it as that modifier? And at any point, she could step it up to that next notch, make it a little tougher if she feels like she needs to. Now for this last one, hold your glutes down, just curl through the chest, up and down. Now we're gonna take it a little faster, fast curl. Up, down, up, down. Now Shannon, you know I've always got something up my sleeve to make it a little tougher. Oh, yeah. She's gonna squeeze her knees, feet, thighs together, bring her shins to tabletop. Now this is the best. Good way to test to make sure that that tabletop is nice and still. <laughs> I go to push on her shins. Guess what? They're not moving. Keep going. Four, three, two, last one. Head down. You're going to grab your weights. Bring your feet down for me, Shannon. You're going to grab your weights with your hands. Bring them right up by your chest. We're going to do a chest press here. Just take the weights up to the ceiling and bend. Elbows, this is very important. So like an active reset, right? So we're just getting into the chest muscles. Your body is just lying flat on the floor. Take a deep breath. We're still working the body. It's an active recovery, just kind of working the chest a little bit. Rounding out every aspect of your body. Make sure we get every muscle working. Two more. And let's add a glute bridge, Shannon, just to get a little bit more heat in that seat. See, there's always something to make it a little tougher. You can always just get every inch of your body in a workout. You just take the time, the dedication, and you'll get exactly what you want, what you deserve. You have two more. Stretch, bend. Last one, your elbows are just Squeeze in right in front of you. Take your weights so they're touching each other. Bring them over your head. Heads of the weights, just like here, Jeff and Shannon, is resting on the floor. Squeeze knees to knee thighs together. Bring your shins to tabletop. Now this is my favorite ab exercise. It's called an ab curl. You're gonna squeeze your abs like you're taking a nice rounded C curve. It's almost as if I were gonna lift Shannon like this. I'm closing her upper body and her lower body, right? And at the same time. And Jess is taking the modification. So she doesn't have her legs coming out quite as far in the tabletop. But are you still feeling that work in your abs, Jess? And one thing that I think is really important, when you're taking your seat off the floor, you want it to come down just as soft. Because the control in your toes going straight up and down, that abdominal control will create that strong, sexy fit back. 
that we all want so bad. So we're almost there. We've got about 15 seconds. How are we doing? Are we okay? Are we feeling your abs? But also, this is important. Shannon does have, see, a little pocket underneath her low back. That's neutral spine. You want to build strength around the shape of your neutral spine, not change it. So this is important to make sure when you're doing your core, your core work that you maintain that length of neutral spine. Two more. In and out. Last one. You're going to take your weights to the floor. Drop them down. Hands are going to just gently float behind your head. So you're going to take a pattern. Start tapping your legs in. In. So they stay in the same, same shape, that tabletop shape. But the pattern, stretch your legs out for two taps and then bend in for two. So the whole idea with just the legs, abs are getting an active re are getting a reset, but low abs, obliques are firing up now. Let's add a curl, because we don't want to forget those upper abs too. Curl it up, tap out, tap it in for two. Now just to pump it up a little bit more of a notch, single count, single count. Woo. Stretch your legs, bend. Oh yes, yeah, stretch, bend. And now she Jess, listen, she's so tough. This girl's gonna bring her legs down a little more. Come on, Jess, bring them down, bring them down. Can you squeeze those abs in nice and tight? Woo. You have two more. In and out, last one, head down, take your toes to the ceiling, big scissor with the legs. So right toes go down first, then left toes. So this is just a big scissor, just a nice big switch. Hips are still planted flat to the floor. Let's hover your shoulders off to round out those abs. You're gonna add a tiny twist with Shannon if you can. Jess is gonna stay center and curl as the modifier. But if you want even more for those obliques, can you add a reach? So you're gonna reach opposite arm, option up to opposite leg the outside of the in-between leg. Shannon, get a little bit of an active stretch. If you can, you're gonna stretch your legs straight. Grab your leg into, because that's gonna get those abs working a little bit more. You have four, <laughs> switch, three, switch, two, last one. Meet me back at tabletop, right? Take your hands by your sides. Reach through your fingertips, cover your shoulders right off the floor. So there's a nice, beautiful pocket of air here. From here, you're gonna stretch your arms overhead, and then bring them front. Nothing in terms of the levels of your body changes. Your shoulders stay, your, light, your legs stay. If you want more, you're gonna stretch these legs out. Ideally, this is where I want you. Right here, down here. You have four, down, three, down, two. How are those abs doing? Hold your arms overhead if you can. Hold them overhead. Come on, Janet, you can do it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. For four, three, see Jess is protecting your neck. Two, last one. Give your body an active reset, but guess what? We are not done. Come on up to your feet. We've got a second set working out for us here. We've got our third section, right? Third section, last set of weights. We're gonna start a curl. Up and down. So this is hammer curl. A little bit different. How are we doing? You should be feeling good. You should be feeling like you toned your abs, right? You toned your body, your upper body. You've gotten your thighs already, but we're doing more. Slide your right heel back. Slide that right heel back. We're gonna add a tiny pulse with the right leg. So we're working in a lunge. Hammer curl, a little bit of a different version. Lunge, we're obviously triggering every inch of your legs and your glutes. Let's take a slight incline forward, and now we're gonna add a pattern. Your right toe comes into the left and back, in and back. So if you notice the pattern we're taking, the foot comes in, the curl is happening as my foot touches in. You want more challenge? I didn't want Shannon, I was gonna do this. <laughs> Bring your knee up and down, up, and down. So you not only have a balance challenge, you're not only working your biceps, but you're working that stabilizing leg as well. Last two. Now hold your right foot back in your lunge. You set your shoulders up to your knees. Your elbows up to frame your face. So tiny pulses with the elbows. So we want your elbows in nice and tight. They're up at shoulder level. Jess is going to come to standing. She's listening to her body and she needs to reset. Shannon is going to stay right here, but <laughs> add a little bit more heat. Oh yeah, see how low she's getting? I want her so low, she's almost touching the floor. Press, 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 good press. You have four, three, two, last one. Squeeze the weights together. Take your feet underneath you. Stretch and bend, overhead triceps. So remember we talked earlier about triceps are one of the most neglected muscles in your body. You're gonna see me hit those muscles quite a bit in this workout. It's gonna make you feel fit and fabulous. You have two more. Stretch, bend, last one. You're gonna take your hands right by your sides, pull your shoulders back. Your palms are gonna still face each other, incline your chest. You're gonna bend and stretch, bend and stretch. So we're just gonna stay here for a second just to get your upper back. Breather, four, stretch, 
three, stretch, two, last one. Bring your shoulders underneath you, or feet underneath you, your shoulders back. Left foot comes back. We're gonna start your curl here. Shoulders, thighs. All right, left side, love. A little lefty love, let's add a pulse. Down, down. All right, so you've already seen this curl, right? Palms are facing in. Ooh. Elbows are actually down for this curl, this version, so a little bit different. With the elbows in nice and tight, you're gonna feel right here in the head of the bicep, right at the bottom, getting a little bit tighter. Curl, curl. Now maybe take a tiny incline forward. Guess what, we got that toe tap that I love. Tap your left foot in and back, in and back. It's kind of like a little dance party yeah. back here. You could do this dance party too with us every day if you want. And if you're really dedicated, you can check out our biceps and buns video at home too. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Shannon, is that that me? Up and back, up and back. Keep pulsing your right leg. It's important. Four, three, woo, two, last one. Hold your left foot back, lift your shoulders, roll them out. Take a breather. You're not done. All those come up to bring your face. Keep them out nice and wide. It's your tiny lap hold. Pulse. Shannon's gonna add the pulse. So she's pulsing her left knee down. Jess is coming up to reset. I know at this point in the workout, you're breathing hard. You feel like, I don't know if I wanna keep going. But you keeping going is what is going to change your body. If you lose that dedication, then what do we have left? So just maintain that focus and you'll get whatever you want. Four seconds. Four, three, two, last one. Squeeze your elbows in. Take your right foot under to the left. Incline your chest. Stretch and bend. So now we're gonna try some feet back. Feet are under your hips, right? So you see where my feet are. You're in a slight hinge motion where you're on an incline with your chest. The weights are gonna stop at your hips. Elbows are up nice and high. The higher your elbows, the more you're gonna activate the triceps. So let's just take it a little faster. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You know how I love my little dance parties. <laughs> You want those elbows up a little higher, but I not only want a dance party, I want your muscles, I want your body dancing, shaking, quivering. When you get to that part where you're shaking, close your eyes, say I'm not stopping. That a little pulse of the leg, down, down, down. So you're getting that little bit of extra cardio, feeling that sweat, sweat, knees burning, knees working hard. So make, maybe make that your goal, you want to sweat. You want to get nice and high with those elbows. Come on, Shannon, four more, four. Three, two, last one. Swing your arms down by your side, stretch in front of you. Pull, stretch. So narrow row. What makes this a narrow row? Elbows are in narrow, right? Right by your waistline. Elbows are coming right behind your back. So then you get each and every aspect of your back muscle. But don't forget about this. This is important. Squeeze your navel right to the ceiling. Squeeze, stretch. We've got one more version of a row. Move your arms straight, palms down, wide row. Lift, lower. Now this is important. Jess's elbows are coming up to shoulder level only. She's still on an incline, her abs are tight. Shannon, <laughs> we're gonna pump it up a notch. Pull it up a little higher, take a tiny squeeze and pulse. Squeeze, pulse, squeeze, pulse. So remember, 30 seconds right here to burn out the backs of the arms, to burn out your upper back, but do not let your abs stay. Fight for your abdominal control. Keep pulsing the legs, keep pulsing the legs. Build up that cardio, build up the energy, build up the heat. Squeeze, Woo! squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So if you see Jess, she's taking that modified version. You wanna end with us for that last five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Take your arms down, shake it out. You got a little burnout. Take your feet into a wide second. Hands are right here by your hips. Soften your seat down to knee level. So again, wide seconds, just like the beginning of our workout. Down an inch, up an inch. Just starting off nice and slow. How are we doing? How many girls doing? Are we on fire back there or what? <laughs> Shannon, she's so spicy that she's sweating. Down an inch, up an inch. That was to get faster. So a burnout. We're kind of taking the moves that we've learned, adding them all together into one. But we're gonna have a little fun with it too because I gotta have a little side dancing. So we're just doing fast pulses can you maybe drop your seat down a little lower? This is the moment that will define you because it's the very end. It's the burnout, it's the finisher. Take a deep breath, maybe make your pulse smaller. Maybe make it so small that if I were to watch you do it, I would be magnifying glass to see, <laughs> to see you do it with my bug weights. You have eight, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, dance party, hold your seat still. You're gonna bring your elbows to your rib cage. Weights face you. Those switches right. Left. Notice how my hips and 
my rib cage are moving. Who do you see dancing like this? You don't see Carlson dancing like this. He dances faster. Look at that faster. Switch, 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 switch. Now this is where that element of cardio comes in. Because you're really start breathing heavy, right? So I want you to focus on your breath. Focus on staying in the movement. Abs, obliques, quads. Let's take a tiny punch and tuck. I say tiny, but I don't mean tiny at all. Tiny? No way. You went in a big punch and tuck. A little bite in your, in your step. Punch, punch. Now remember, this is when you're like, oh my God, when is this gonna be over? You have 10 seconds left to really knock it out of the park. Punch, punch, woo, punch. Punch me right here, punch. Three, two, last one. Let's just hold it, hold. I know, brutal, right? It is, but it's not, it's not for you. You can do it, take a deep breath. But if I run into my girls, they won't be able to do it. So just take it nice and easy. Can get a little lower. Can you maybe check your balance? Close your eyes. Oh boy. Oh yeah, Jess. Open your eyes. Take a deep breath. We're not done. Can you maybe bring your feet down a little lower? You have four seconds. Three, two. All right, dance party. Pull those elbows in. In. We're gonna add a tiny pull. You can't end with a still no. That's way too boring. We gotta get a nice little laugh, little burnout here. You're pulling your elbows in, in. So I want you to even drop the feet a little lower. This is the last note you're relieving with. How bad do you want it? Getting healthy, getting strong, looking better, but more important, feeling better. Let's add a little bit of a dance. Let's switch right, left. Get that little shake going in your seat. Whoever said working out couldn't be fun, right? Shake, 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 shake. All right, how are we doing? Are you guys in the last back there? Can you drop down a little lower? Woo, shake, 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 shake. shake. This is your last countdown. 20 seconds of your life to get that last little bit of a burn. Can you maybe stretch your arms a little longer? Can you maybe drop your seat a little bit more? Woo, shake, shake, shake. How we doing? We feeling those arms? Oh, yeah. You are back. You have five, four, three, two, one. Bring your weights on down to the floor. Shake it out for a second. Let's take a nice stretch. Right arm overhead. Just take a tiny slight side bend away. Congratulations, you've made it through. Shake it out, let's get the other arm. Left arm overhead. Slight side bend away, just take a deep breath. Relax. And now lace your hands right under your low back. Connect the heels of the hands as you open up your chest. And bow forward. If you need to take a soft bend in your knees, you can do that. And let your fingertips go slowly. Roll up, and if you need to walk your hands up your thighs, you can do that. Now meet me, just walk your hands back down into all fours. So we're in all fours. We're gonna take a nice cat-cow position. Push through the heels of your hands to round your spine. Look towards your navel, then exhale, arch. Breathe, and look straight up, look towards the ceiling. And push through the heels of your hands one more time, round. Look towards your navel. Exhale, arch. stretch. So if you want to, you can just walk your hands out. Fingertips are under your shoulders. You're going to press up either to your forearms, but if you have the flexibility, stretch all the way up to the palms of your hands. Maybe even take right ear to right shoulder, left ear to left shoulder. And if you want to roll your head down through center, soften your elbows, bring your seat back to your heels and do a child's pose. And now we're gonna take a little bit of a lunge just to stretch out your hip flexors from abs, your quads, from all the thigh stuff. Let's take your right foot forward and a lunge. Just make sure your right knee is tracking over your ankle. Same foot that's forward, that hand will stay down. Opposite arm, just up and over. Take a deep breath, maybe you'll close your eyes. And it's super important to follow up with stretches so that you not only build strength, but you continue to maintain flexibility. So the more flexible you are, it's gonna give you a bigger range of motion to be able to work out more efficiently. Let's drop your toes down. Shift your seat back. Right foot is gonna flex. But if you have the flexibility, you can just slide out with Shannon. She's gonna push out into her split. And when she reaches her point of control, let's just point the front toes about forward over the front leg. So whichever version of the stretch feels better on your body. And let's push up and off. Let's take the other side. Never skimp on stretches, because this is what helps to really alleviate any soreness. It keeps your body nice and pliable. And elastic, round your right arm forward. You can tuck your toes and stretch the leg, or just keeping your knee down, left hand to right toes. So again, Jess is doing the modifications. 
have a chance doing the other version if you want to follow it with her or I, or Jess. And now shift your seat back, flex your left toes up. You can either grab the bottom of your foot if you want a little bit more for the back of the hamstring. If you have the flexibility to just follow Shannon, slide your left foot forward. And whenever you reach your point of control, just point the front foot and bow forward. All right, nice job. Last stretch all together. Let's just swing your feet in front of you. Squeeze your knees, feet, thighs together nice and tight. Feet pointed, you're gonna take your arms overhead. Maybe even close your eyes. Just take a moment to reflect on the work you put into your body. Reach up and out of your waistline to bow forward. At the bottom of the shape, however low you are, however high you are, just take a moment to just reflect on your work you put into your body. Feel grateful for every moment that you put into your body, that you're healthy enough, that you're strong enough. But know the next time we see you, we'll be even stronger. Slowly roll up and have a killer day.